If checking IDs is part of your job, it needs to be taken seriously. And to do it right, here are a few things you need to know. Depending on where you work, you'll come across different forms of ID. A U.S. government or military ID, a U.S. passport or passport card, or a state-issued driver's license or ID card. Any of these are acceptable as long as they're real. Each type of identification will be clearly labeled along the top center of the card. The easiest way to make sure it's not fake is to have the customer take it out of their wallet or purse and hand it to you. There are a number of things to look for. The surface should be smooth with no bumps or wrinkles. The card shouldn't feel cheaply made, thin or flimsy. Make sure the lamination doesn't appear jagged or uneven. The image hasn't been altered in any way and the text isn't blurry, smeared or pixelated. If the ID seems real, the next thing to do is confirm the cardholder's personal details. Check the expiration date and verify their birth date. Make sure the picture matches the cardholder. Ask them personal details like their height, zip code, or street number. In Maine and many other states, the next generation of IDs, called real IDs, are also being issued. A real ID can be easily identified by the gold star on the front of the card. Here are some other key details to look for on a valid ID. A digital portrait and matching ghost portrait and design elements you can only see with a UV wand. There will also be a brown DRIGO emblem and two barcodes on the back. If you suspect an ID is fake, you should stop the sale or transaction immediately and hold on to the ID. Otherwise, they may just try to use it somewhere else. Then notify your manager so they can contact law enforcement if necessary. Remember, verifying someone's age and identity keeps your customers and employees safe and protects you and your business from getting into any legal or financial trouble. For more information, contact the Tobacco and Substance Use Prevention and Control Program, Department of Health and Human Services.